Sunshine Value Farm family. Today we are coming to you guys from Rwanda. I'm really super excited, guys. Yeah, this is a beautiful time for us to be here. It is really amazing to be in a new country to bring for you content to share with you guys what we are currently doing at Value Farm and of course our journey and everything that we are doing in Rwanda. I also have my co-director on standby who is going to say hello to you guys and also you know say something to you guys. You're most welcome. Thank you very much. Hello everybody my name is Grafton co-director here at Value Farm. Today we're not at the present <laughs> Value Farm. Yes. But with the hard work, dedication that the team's been putting in, and the good Lord has uh, blessed us, and hopefully he will continue to bless us. To bless us. We may very well indeed end up in Rwanda. Rwanda. So while we're here, um, we're actually going to share with you guys the process, yep. or as much of it as we could possibly bring to you guys, right? We're on location, looking for a possible expansion for so, the VF. future of the <laughs> So with that, we hope you guys can continue to support us as the company look to expand. True. But I can tell you guys from what I've seen on the ground. <laughs> what are your first impressions? Ah, Uganda is a wonderful country. Always first love. That's always going to be our base of operation. Yeah. But when it comes to Rwanda here, what's happening in this country is truly remarkable true now i know many people when they think rwanda they think of the absolute worst mm -hmm. but this country has done a wonderful job shaking a very tumultuous past and with a wonderful leadership on the ground true and proper planning true this place has transformed rapidly and we have full faith and confidence is going to continue to grow and develop into the actual model country that's been predicted by everyone. So, that is so true. with that in mind, we apologize for the wind. We're very high in terms of elevation. <laughs> you guys know, Ron you guys see the behind mm -hmm. a mountainous country, but the place is absolutely breathtaking. The people here have been extremely nice. The country is beautiful. Yep. The road network here is something that I'm very jealous ah! about. <laughs> right? I know. And um, what I've learned, hey. there's no such thing really as a village in, in, in Rwanda. Rwanda. Because even now, we're, we're, I would say we're about 40, 35 minutes plus from, from Kigali. Kigali. But it doesn't really feel like it. Like it, seriously. Because there were no dusty roads. There was very easy to get here. True. Um, there's electricity almost throughout the whole place. This section where we're standing um, is not too far from where the new international airport yeah, is gonna going be. to be. And the fact that we actually have a neighbor next door to us mm -hmm. that basically already on their way. This We're basically standing in Farm Farmland. Central. Exactly. Farm Central in Rwanda. <laughs> and that's why it also gives us even more confidence because next to us, it looked the like poultry. they're building a poultry facility Project. that can house mm. anywhere between like 40 to 50,000 birds with their processing center. So this is a good thing because it's going to help us, you know, step our game up because exactly. you can't come here and take any half measures. True. You know, and so that's why we're here. And hopefully you guys can continue to support. Exactly. And, um, we'd love to hear your comments. Leave it down below. So that way we can actually continue to engage. Exactly. The, I love the organization of this place, like how everything is really very organized. Even the people themselves, they know what to do. You know, there's no breaking rules here. <laughs> people are so organized as well. That is one amazing thing that I've really seen about Rwanda. Then, of course, the housing, the way they've really built their things, they're really organized and each area has their own plan like construction is it a construction yeah, plan a master plan master for, plan for each area as i land touched down here i literally felt like i was back in the states hey and i say this this is the absolute greatest compliment but back in the states but with a much more optimistic view right because we all know what's happening back home right now right it is a tumultuous time for us now. Mm -hmm. Rwanda has already gone through theirs, right? Mm. I guess it happens in every country every with country. every nation to some degree. That's true. But the beauty here is that we actually can see every plot of land you purchase. You can actually pull up the master plan to see what's what? in store for your area, mm -hmm. what you're able to build, the actual um, 
zoning um, designation for your place. So there's no guesswork. Exactly. You know, so if you spend your hard-earned cash in an area where you want to build a mansion, no one can come next to you and decide that they're just gonna put up a shack, which is okay, which is everyone's prerogative mm -hmm. where they are. But if you're in the de developing zones, right, everything's pre-planned, which is wonderful. And I love that. I live for structure. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. So guys, keep praying for us so that the VF is right in this area, right here where we are standing. Yeah. We'll even expand somewhere else. We so. want to bring the pork to Rwanda. To Rwanda, because oh, according to uh, when we've talked to different people around there's here, a great need. there's a great need for pork. So mm -hmm. most people really struggle so much because I was talking to my friend. It's a luxury she, meat here. She was telling me it is a luxury meat. Then yeah. she was telling me even people queue, you know, to get the pork mm -hmm. in a pork joint. Yeah. So that is something like you know we are really thinking about we know people here from what we've had they love the chicken and the beef that is of course available but pork there's need of pork here that people really need to you know look at and also for us when we bring our projects around here i think it's going to do better because even when you talked about you know why people don't really rear pigs it's because of the system maybe people are using people are scared of tapping into the project because well, of that i mean it's a bit costlier here because yeah. again when you're in a more structured environment you know you have to follow the rules and regulations right True. just like kind of like being in the states as you're building something you can't just randomly build something without following the rules and regulations so while pork itself right the way it's raised the way you dispose of the waste in a country like this i'm sure there's a lot more stipulations that you have to follow that is true and i for one as a farmer as a responsible farmer actually welcome that and that's a challenge that I'm looking, looking to tackle to because once we resolve that issue True. and we actually can bring pork here on a grand scale and also make it affordable to the region, I think it can only benefit everybody, everybody. in the region. Yeah. So. That's so that what is what that. that's, that's what we are thinking about but definitely just wait for the progress we are still here we shall be definitely sharing with you guys what we are actually doing in Rwanda and you guys will see the journey and of course if we get a chance to visit a farm we shall still let you guys know about it but I'm really super excited to be in Rwanda it's my first time to be here but I'm really impressed with each and everything that I've seen so far I'm still here for a few days but we shall tell you guys the outcome of this trip but it's a very good one so far I'm liking the people, you know, and everything about Rwanda. Absolutely. Yeah. So, guys, make sure to follow us on social media. Exactly. Value Farm UG mm -hmm. on Instagram. Value Farm UG as well. Then also Facebook, Value Farm, TikTok, Value Farm UG. Go and leave us a comment. Also, subscribe to the channel. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And do not forget to share. Till next time. Bye. Bye.